our first baby's birth, our Roy, our son. Donna reminds me that she went into labor while I was over at that hospital doing the janitorial tasks, and that she couldn't reach me and I was gone way too long. Probably, probably just as well I didn't know. But when I got home, she had her bag packed and was ready to get on over to that doctor's office, which is right by the hospital, and only three or four blocks from our apartment. And I don't remember how we got there. I don't know if we called somebody and they gave us a lift, like, you know, my grandparents, my Uncle Marion. Chances are somebody gave us a ride, but neither one of us can remember that at all. Dr. Sheets got her admitted right away, and uh, I'm sure he knew, young girl, first baby's going to be a while. So, you know, he, he got her started into the admission process and said he'd be back to check, and he was from time to time. Well, that must have been 8 or 9 o'clock. Because if I remember right, I ordinarily wasn't too with the cleaning of the bathrooms and emptying the trash and all the uh, offices and dusting and all that sort of thing until 7, 8 o'clock at night. And probably I wasn't dilly-dallying. I expect I had, had some hints that the time was at hand. So... I think, I don't really remember for sure, but I think after being over there for an hour or two that the nurses told me, you better just go on home and get some rest because this is going to take a while. And I didn't ask her today about that because if that upset her, I wasn't any point in having her upset again now remembering it. I imagine that they had her somewhat sedated in that Yes, in labor, but not hard labor. But I don't know. I'm no expert on labor, to say the least. So the next day, I'm in and out, and again, nothing really going on, but apparently on occasion she'd have pains that she'd think that maybe, you know, maybe this is it, maybe we're going to get with it here and have a baby. And I don't know just how it was arranged, but I, I don't think I stayed there all day, and I think there was some sort of a deal set up where they could get to me. Probably I went to my classes with an understanding to call the dean's office, and he'd get a hold of me. I don't really remember. Now, to me, it seemed like it was the next night. I think to Donna, it seems like it was skip a night and the next night before that boy was born. Well, I do remember very definitely getting the word to get over here, get in here. Your wife's going to need you. And this was the only doctor that had that philosophy, and I appreciated it, that I could be there with her in the delivery room. You know, it's quite common now today, but not common in that day. In fact, when Rita was born, I was not allowed in the delivery room. When... Uh, Randy was born. We never got her to the delivery room, but I was right there with the doctor trying to get her to the delivery room when she had the baby on the cot, the, the one that we were moving her on. I guess it was a gurney, but anyway, we never got to the delivery room. And then when Dr. Hope Ross was the doctor for uh, Rhonda, our baby's birth, she said, absolutely not. I don't allow any men in the delivery room when I'm the doctor. Well, doggone, I'm telling you, Donna was in plenty of agony trying to push that kid out. And uh, I think eventually the doctor did that thing that I've forgotten the, the uh, terminology for, but where they clipped the... Uh, exit area a little bit to give a little more room to get that baby out. Well, the baby's here. And uh, Donna, I don't know if they gave her some gas or something, but Donna is no longer in great pain, but the doctor was working with her. 
and I'm aware, and the nurses are aware that Roy hasn't sounded off. He has cried out, and I'm I'm being nervous about it, and I'm becoming very aware that they're nervous about it. That they're giving a couple of slaps on the little behind and so on to get that baby to kick in and kick off. Well, Doc is listening and watching, you know, even though he's sewing her up. So he uh, stops and walks over there and manages like it's a cue card. He he never, I don't think he ever got over there to actually touch the baby. I think he was reaching for the baby and Roy let out a cry and the relief in that room was palpable. And certainly Dad here was among the happiest to hear that baby cry. I'm telling you, as a young kid watching that delivery thing and seeing how much agony Donna went through, it was enough to make you think, hey, one is enough. And I'm sure at that particularly, particular afternoon and evening and night and day and night and so on, I'll bet she was thinking one is enough. But she was a good little mother. I never heard a lot about that at all afterwards. And obviously... Three more, total of four. So it was a scary night, happy, happy ending. Happy, healthy boy.